Oh my, it is like a gun. And you want to load it up with little itty bitty bullets of knowledge. What's going on, family? Thank you for tuning in to another one. It's your guy, Boro, the Lucky Libra, all right? And as you can see by the title, we capping off, wrapping it up with the Venus series with Venus in Pisces, all right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, first of all, what is Venus, all right? Venus represents how we love. Venus represents how we relate our feelings, how we connect with others, you know, how we see, how we seek our pleasures, all right? How we exchange the feelings with others, how we compromise and value other people's input. Our value system overall, Venus shows you that, okay? And us knowing that Venus shows us where we seek our pleasures is where we want to know the place, you know, do things in moderation and balance because Venus is, because she got to find those wherever she's at. Now, when we talk about Pisces, all right, Pisces is mutable water ruled by Jupiter, okay? So, mutable water wants to exchange the feelings and emotions. They want to be able to emotionally connect with others, subconsciously connect with others. And it's ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is dealing with your wisdom and knowledge, all right? How you learn from your experiences, how you are able to expand on your perspectives about life through your experiences and the lessons that you've been through, all right? So Pisces want to exchange that, all of that, all that subconscious energy they want to exchange with others. But when we talk about Venus and Pisces, this is an exaltation, all right? This is the place Venus loves to be in when she's not in Taurus or Venus, which is her home states, okay? This is her favorite place to be. And why is that? Well, let's not forget that Pisces is also co-ruled by Neptune. And Neptune's dealing with our uh, super subconscious energies. It's a, it's a, oh, it's straight, a straight spiritual energy. Got nothing to do with reality. It's dealing with our fantasies, illusions, how we tap into our imagination, our subconscious. I like to say it's the creative source of where your creative expression even coming from. All right, it represents your dreams and fantasies. So, with that influence on Pisces, this is why Venus loves to be there. Because we know Venus deals with her pleasures. We know Venus deals with love. We know Venus deals with feelings. We know what Venus deals with feeling good, connecting to what she can to feel good, all right? So when we talk about Pisces, that's, that's the dream world. That's, the, that's your imagination. So people with Venus in Pisces have to understand that you have direct access with this type of placement towards connecting to the things that could pop up in your imagination. All right? Wherever Venus is at, it supports. So when you got Venus in Pisces, your art, your creativity is going to be supported. You're going to be able to align yourself with people that are into what you're creatively into and have people that want to compliment and support those things, um, support these things. All right? You know how to get yourself among people who have a value and appreciate their creativity or anything that they bring in subconsciously from their dreams into the physical realm or how they're able to express these things. You have a lot of appreciation and support to give for the people, Venus and Pisces. But this is the thing. When y'all, uh, we talking about you have access to the things in your imagination, which we all do. All right. It's just that with Venus being exalted here, you know, the value that's placed on these things and just the frequency vibra vibration that this placement brings, it comes with you uh, uh, getting a support system to things that you aspire, to things in your subconscious. So... You, you being such a creative, you having such a creative placement, the things that you connect to in a physical reality can be subconscious ways that you try to substitute for what you ain't bring from your imagination down here yet, all right? So some of y'all are some of the most creative dope artists or whatnot, but y'all got to be careful, and this is for anybody, not just an artist, but anybody with Venus and Pisces, y'all got to be careful how y'all deal with certain substances or things that make y'all feel good because y'all have just just by default with this placement y'all have to understand y'all got a natural support system to gain more of what may be a detriment to you but it's because you value it and venus is exalted here so this is venus at her highest state if venus put her imagination to it she get it like this if venus get it and it feel good she like it she actually subconsciously start man subconsciously pisces subconscious energy 
So if Venus in Pisces likes something, she subconsciously starts manifesting relationships, environments, situations to dive into it some more. So you don't want your pleasures to be your doom here, Venus in Pisces, all right? Because y'all y'all dive in, connect into y'all dreams, y'all imagination in a quick minute and find all types of ways to substitute it instead of, you know, continuing to build that relationship with your dreams and how you're going to cultivate it, you know, in real life time. You know how you're going to truly manifest that, all right? Instead of the illusion of connecting to it through a substance, you know, through a... Through a uh, to a alternative that ain't you know you really experiencing it the vibration of something so you know with Venus in uh, now these people are super duper compassionate these people are super duper selfless these people want to take people out of day uh, like these people go out their way to try to help people tap out of reality and escape reality so it's like when you, if you're dealing with a Venus and Pisces person, like when you come around them in an emotional funk or something's negative in your life, like these people make it a responsibility and go out their way to try to bring you to an, another esoteric realm or into another space or into another frequency vibration to lift you up out of that. You know, like Venus and Pisces, they want people to understand that, you know, you need a relationship with your imagination and you need to be able to under, like Venus and Pisces believe, they believe. A lot of y'all Venus and Pisces come into the world with uh, super intuitive, real uh, in tune with your dreams and your your dream recalling and dream retention. I know a lot of Venus and Pisces that develop a lot of abilities to, um, you know, kind of foresee things through their dreams and their imagination. And this is the thing. We all subconscious, that's what we're doing when we dream. When we're dreaming, we're in the esoteric realm. We're in the place we we're at before, before where we're at when we don't got nobody. All right, as a spirit, when we ain't inside this, when we ain't you, you renting one of these and utilizing one of these shits for a lifetime, that's where we at. The place you go to when you dream, when you shut this down. So Venus and Pisces, they could live there and they could try to bring people there, a.k.a. try to, you know, aspire people, influence people to understand that they could dive more into their subconscious energies, into their imagination to cultivate, what to, to change their physical reality. It's just that, you know... They get drained a lot. You guys put yourself up into situations to get drained by others a lot. Uh, by the way, you may overcompensate value in other people's uh, values. All right? AKA Venus and Pisces get into a relationship and the, their partner OD values, values this. You came to the relationship with certain values you had or whatnot and now you 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 know appreciating and supporting supporting that person values as you should in a relationship all right as you should you know you could get to a point where you start losing sight of what you value and, and, and you, like venus and pisces could be that selfless that sacrificial i like to say pisces it ends up manifesting a lot of sacrificial like energies all right having to uh sacrifice things within themselves for the greater good or for others that they connect into but a lot of the times they do this from a real subconscious spiritual level because the pisces energy is deep it comes out of the 12th house and the 12th house is everything subconscious so it's like they have an emotional uh awareness that could detach from physical things to help you know help somebody else learn a lesson to help somebody else grow so they'll sacrifice themselves in little ways here and there but Venus and Pisces, yeah, are very sacrificial in that in that type of sense, you know. Um, yeah, but like, yeah, when they get into relationships, man, super compassionate, super loving. This is why I. This is where the energy of Pisces, loving love. This is where that theme comes from. The exaltation archetype of Venus in Pisces. Pisces already mutable water, so that's one. It's dealing with the connection and the mutable uh, adaptation to other people's feelings and emotions and in a state of wanting to relate these things, connect these things to build more of an awareness on how to deal with it, with more of an awareness of what the feelings and emotions mean, all right? It can learn more ways to help other people deal with subconscious energies. And it's ruled by Jupiter, okay? So it knows how to connect to others from their experiences. It knows how to feel other people out from their experiences. But when you put Venus exalted in Pisces, Venus dealing with our love, with our pleasures. You know, what we like what we like, and what we appreciate, what makes us feel good. So when Pisces are in the state of connecting the feelings and emotions, 
when they have potential of seeing something, like when they when they in relationships and they like a love, uh, start to like a uh, I don't want to say love, but they start to like something. Okay, see potential in something. Uh, Y'all can lock in on that potential and disregard some things, cause Pisces is a real uh, abstract energy. So you guys could dive into the potential of Venus and Pisces could dive into the potential of things so much it starts to feel real, but it ain't real yet. So this is why y'all need to learn to be have more of a direct approach, more of a practical approach towards how y'all work on y'all values and whatnot. So y'all could feel that out in real life time. Y'all could get not get lost in the the substitutes. The, the maybe certain substances or shit in life that'll make you feel like you're tapping into a certain frequency vibration. All right, Venus in uh, Pisces. Y'all know how to teach people about relating the feelings and emotions. All right, because Pisces got teacher energy. Pisces got teacher energy. Okay, it's Jupiter here. But what they gonna teach, what Venus and Pisces gonna teach more about, like, like, <laughs> Pisces, Venus and Pisces get their heart broke. They'll go through some situations being sacrificed. They'll go through some situations getting taken advantage of and, and, and continue to go through it. So hopefully this person can learn and evolve and see what they're doing and maybe see what they got with this Venus and Pisces to see if they value it. Like, Venus and Pisces could give somebody so many chances to prove them things. You know, so, uh... They'll go through all of that, but then when it comes to give, <laughs> when it comes to giving somebody else advice on how they deal with their relationship, they'll say it from a space like they never been hurt before. But that's where it's coming from. It's coming from the experiences of you know having their feelings and emotions, their values and their aspirations out in the collective consciousness and putting it out there for anybody who has similar values to come connect with it. And a lot could happen from that. So y'all gotta just be have some discernment who y'all connect these things from. Y'all super duper creative, super compassionate, and y'all really thrive off of connecting with others that's into what you into or have big imaginations, big thinkers. When we talk about Venus and Pisces, there's no limits. Like there uh, is, is, is a Pisces is a real boundless energy. So when it comes to their values, there's nothing that they feel like they can't connect to, they can't manifest. Alright? A lot of them do, once again, they do incarnate. A lot of y'all are real empathic and intuitive and sensitive to, uh, you know, um, sensitive to certain energies. So y'all continue to protect y'all space, all right? And, um, you know, just be more consciously aware of how you relate them feelings and emotions, Pisces, all right? Y'all can continue to uh, throw yourself in the realm of love and continue to get altered from them experiences and keep developing more wisdom about it. But, you know, by you guys making sure that y'all continue to practice self-love with Venus and Pisces is what's going to help you, is for all of us, but what's going to truly help y'all to align with people that share y'all values, but it's going to be able to, because sometimes y'all develop relationships like Venus and Pisces, you can have a drinking problem. Drinking may be something that really helps you feel like you tapping in out of here. You tapping into your imagination, your creativity, and then now you have a relationship with somebody else and it's based off of that. So when you're in a state of, you know, having positive self values, you're gonna manifest, Venus is gonna support, you're gonna manifest uh, the situations and relationships where people come in with the positive values or people are ready to tell you how you're overindulging into something. All right, Venus and Pisces. So let's get into some names that we may all know that have this alignment. And when I say these niggas are super duper creative, I'm talking about fashion, music, public speaking. They they know how to connect some creativity to the to the public, to the conscious collective, because that's what they truly value. Even if a Venus, you're not you're not really gonna find a Venus and Pisces that's not an artist in some type of way. Even when they're not connecting, if they're not connecting it to the external realm, they're working on it. They they have their own sacred relationship with their creativity, with their poetry, with their music, with their fashion design, with whatever they do. And y'all super duper creative influences on others because y'all boundless approach to y'all um, imagination is really inspiring to others. 
even if y'all have insecurities on your dreams and imaginations, uh, the people can't even pick it up. Michelle Obama, Martin Luther King, Justin Bieber, Kurt Cobain, Heath Ledger, Celine Dion, Vincent Van Gogh, artist, Marilyn Manson, Penelope Cruz, Kourtney Kardashian, Drew Barrymore, John Travolta, Osama Bin Laden, Ed Sheeran. All right, family. So those are just some names to have some more uh, representations. John Bon Jovi, Kelly Clarkson. All right, family. Edgar Allan Poe. Some real creatives, okay? So you already know what it is. It's your guy Boro, the lucky Libra, and that's the Venus through the um, that's the Venus through the science series. And next, y'all know we getting right into the Mars through the science series. But until next time, family, peace.